How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today is going to be a anime collection video and this is going to be on our Studio Ghibli movie collection that we have so far. So with that, let's go ahead and get started because we got quite a bit to show here. There's actually uh, a few that we don't have yet. Uh, actually quite a bit. So first up we have Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Really amazing film. This one is done by Hayao Miyazaki, who's done quite a bit of these. Uh, there's also some other uh, directors and writers, too, that have done others. Uh, this is a Blu-ray and DVD uh, combo pack. And this is part of the uh, G-Kids uh, releases. So apparently they got the license to uh, re-release all these films. And which I think is what they're doing. Yeah, I think they're really they're re-releasing all of them and uh, These sets are really nice and apparently they uh, Corrected some things as well. So you get like a, a booklet with like interviews and pictures Here's a uh, all the special features interviews commentary stuff like that and um, Yeah, apparently the Disney releases were, they had some errors and stuff on them. Um, we do have one of them, and we used to have a couple more. Um, and then watching them, uh, like, separately, you do notice some things. Uh, but, uh, yeah, really cool releases. Next up, we have Castle in the Sky. Another real amazing film. So all these are Blu-ray and DVD combo packs. We do have one Disney one left. Because uh, I think it has a G-Kids release. Um, I think now it does, but it didn't uh, when I first got it. So I'll show that towards the end here. Here's some screenshots. Alright. Next up we have My Neighbor Totoro. Or Totoro. And uh, a bunch of these I happened to find uh, secondhand uh, for really cheap. This one I got new. It was on um, sale. And so if you find a new, it will should have like a sticker like this, exclusive new uh, booklet statements from the filmmakers. Uh, that's pretty much what they all have if you get them new. And these were in store quite a bit. I think they still are. May depending on uh, where you look. All right, Love that one. Next up, Kiki's Delivery Service, and a few of these I watched uh, growing up. Uh, like I used to see them on uh, VHS and things like that. Um, man, awesome movie, packed with extras, uh, and yeah, just an amazing film all of these are in their own way uh animation style is just amazing you have uh really great music each one of these films have like their own like specific like set of music that just works like you know just goes with the the film itself next is porco rosso this is another really good one and all these do have uh, dubs, and there is a theme where they get a bunch of uh, uh, some big name actors and some, um, you know, others that uh, do other things who are maybe more well known doing voice work. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, the cast for all these is really good. Uh, you know, to get you definitely get like a different feel with each film <laughs> in a certain way, and. Correct itself. And there's Porco Rosso. And this one has like a, this is more like an action y one. Like it has more uh, action and stuff in it. So you have your drama uh, type films. Uh, they all pretty much have drama in a way. You have comedy, there's action, adventure, uh, you know, supernatural, all sorts of stuff, thrillers. Next is Princess Mononoke. I watch this all the time it was on. <laughs> hey, this used to play on... What channel was it? I think it was Stars. Used to play all the time. 
really good film. Uh, just incredible work. Animation, uh, music. This is, this is a really big film. They all are in their own way. All right. This is one of okay. And next is a uh, another real big one. This one was an Academy Award winner. Spirited Away. Amazing film. Uh, definitely deserved to win uh, the Academy Award. Actually, a bunch of these have been nominated. Um, this is one of the ones that won. I want to say another one did. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely deserved it. Yeah, the adventure in this is just really good. All right. And next up is a, uh, this one was one of the ones that was nominated. Howl's Moving Castle. This used to play on, uh, I think it was Stars as well. Uh, I think a couple of other channels. And uh, just another really good movie. Uh, this has more like a magic and supernatural stuff in it. Uh, but for what it is, it is really good. Uh, voice acting is excellent. Just going through the adventures of all these movies. Uh, it's just amazing. Alright. So there's Howl's Moving Castle. And next up. The Secret World of Ariete. So this one we used to have the Disney release for. Uh, this one you get a... You get interviews with um, Hayao Miyazaki and director Hiromasa Yonebayashi. All right. There's his mine. And apparently, I think this is based off a... I'm not sure if it's completely based off or loosely based on a book called uh, The Borrowers, uh, which features, like, like tiny people, <laughs> and because uh, I think there was a an original film called The Borrowers, I think, uh, but this is like a different take on it, and uh, this is amazing. Like there she is as she meets uh, this boy that she encounters, and uh, there's like a cat. There's like this lady, <laughs> and yeah, this is this is a really good film. Really cool. All right, so next up is the uh, the only Disney one that we have right now. Uh, and this one, I was trying to find with the slipcover, and eventually I did find it. The Wind Rises. Awesome, awesome film. This is the... Uh, this is a nominated film. Includes hours and never before seen bonus. So the Disney slick covers were actually really nice. So this is another Blu-ray and DVD uh, combo pack. Uh, so we would say Studio Ghibli, like in gold, and the title would be embossed. And on the sides here, you would have like this gold uh, coloring on it. Let me see if I can get it to... Focus. Yeah, got a little bit. Uh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so here's the back. So you get a bunch of behind-the-scenes features, uh, interviews, storyboards, uh, original Japanese trailers. Announcement of the completion of the film, which is a big thing. Uh, remember, there's one like that for another film, which I'm about to show. This is a really good one uh, about this guy who uh, he like builds planes and but there's a thing where I think it's like the people come to him and ask if you know like they're going to be used for war or something. I think there's like something going on. There's like a big conflict. Um, but the story with this is really good, really amazing. And last up, uh, the this so this is the last one that we have as of uh, right now. Got this. Quite a while ago. The Tale of Princess Kaguya. Amazing film. Uh, with the I love the animation style of this. 
So you get a uh, behind the scenes documentary feature length. And this was also nominated uh, for best animated feature film. Pretty much a bunch of them have been nominated for that. And uh, this is just amazing. The, w the style animation of this, it's like you're watching a, how do I describe it? Like a moving painting in a way, like watercolor. Uh, yeah, here's some screenshots of it. This just looks incredible with the way they did this. Uh, and the behind the scenes documentary is amazing too. And you also get the announcement of the completion of the film, which is a big thing. Um, I think for, uh, I'm not sure about all big film made for Ghibli films and other ones as well. It's a really, really amazing, uh, this is just awesome. And I went and got this uh, as soon as it came out. Because some of these you can find in store. Uh, there are a bunch that I think you have to order. Or um, a few of these I found secondhand. So it kind of depends on where you look. Also price-wise, uh, I would say most of them are about 20 bucks, If not lower. Uh, but depending on where you look, they could be like 25 maybe. So in a way they're not too expensive. But I would say get them on sale if you can. All right, so with that, that does it for all of our Studio Ghibli uh, movies that we have so far. And I'm going to line all these up for you guys. Okay. This might be a little tough. <laughs> all right. So here they all are. See, the wind rises really stands out because <laughs> of the gold, but this is really cool. So yeah, G Kids is doing an amazing job with these releases. Uh, I want to say the wind rises does have a G Kids release now. I noticed that there are a bunch of steelbooks uh, coming out. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, movies that we don't have yet, like Palm Poco, Ponyo, which I have seen. Uh, there's, uh, what is it, Once on Popping Hill, I think Only Yesterday is a Ghibli film, too, also. And, yeah, there's just a bunch that we don't have yet, but I am, uh, planning on, uh, possibly getting more. And here are all the titles. Alright, so let's go ahead and line these up. So let's put... Let's go right there. Put that there. And then we'll put... And put those right there. Alright. Zoom in. Okay. So you all look good together. So yeah, uh, that's our Studio Ghibli, or Ghibli, uh, however uh, you pronounce it, uh, uh, movie collection so far. But yes, we do plan on getting more. All of these films are just amazing. Uh, you know, Hayao Miyazaki is awesome. You also have other directors as well. They've all done a really good job with these. Uh, and as far as the G-Kids line, excellent releases. Uh... And if you guys want to see these more in depth, please let me know. I will uh, go ahead and unbox them. I just wanted to show them all together first. Uh, that way I can show, uh, you know, what we have so far. And uh, out of all these, which one is your favorite that I've shown today? And, uh, you know, yeah, feel free to let me know what you guys think. Or, excuse me, what you guys think in the comments below. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.